Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Thursday today, so that means it's our crafty day. Now, the book that we've been looking at this week was Shark in the Dark. Well, remembered, have you been reading it every day or listening to the story every single day? I hope so, because then tomorrow you'll be able to find a grown-up and you'll be able to tell them the whole story just from remembering it in your head. So because we've been reading The Shark in the Dark, I thought we'd do some crafting with the moon because we see the moon in the story. Okay, these are my moons that I've been cutting out. Now, we do see the moon in the story, but also this weekend is a very, very special weekend and lots of my boys and girls, your mummies and daddies will be super busy this week, won't they? Because it is Eid. It is Eid al Fitr this weekend and you'll finally get to break your fast and have a big, big celebration at home. So we also thought that if we did some moon craft, and some star craft, then we could use these as decorations for your Eid parties if you make some. And I know I'm going to hang all of mine in my window, okay? So there's a lots and lots of different moon and um, moon and star crafts that you can do. So if you, if mummies and daddies, if you search for it on the internet, there's loads of different mm. things that you can do. Well done, Luna. Luna's painting hers already. Put it there. Good job. Okay, so what I've done, the first craft that I've done, I have got some potatoes, but I'll show you those after. First craft that I've done is I've cut out some moon and star shapes out of some card. All right, so I've cut out some stars and moons from some card and we're going to paint them. So what Isabel is doing, my big girl, is she's got a small paintbrush and she's painting patterns on her moon and star. And what Luna is doing is what I'm going to show you now. So we're doing some sponge printing. So I've got some sponges and the paint that I've chosen today for my very limited selection is some gold paint and some silver paint and I've got some yellow as well. It'd be really nice if you've got any glitter or gems or sequins that you can stick on as well, they would look beautiful. So I've got my gold glitter paint on my sponge and I'm just going to dab it onto my moon to make a nice sparkly moon to hang in the window like that mm. and when you sponge paint it it makes a really nice textured effect as well which is nice mm. okay and for my star i might do some yellow this time star star now it is messy sponge painting so be prepared for some mess. So I've got my glittery moon and I've got my little star ready, ready to be hung up. Now what I've also done, this will be very good for Luna, is I need a really big piece of paper and I've got some potatoes and I've chopped my potatoes up and I've cut a shape into them and I'm sure you can guess what shapes I've cut into them. I've cut a moon shape. Can you see my moon shape that I've cut out there? Got my moon shape in there and that potato. And what shape have I cut into this potato? Can you tell? It's a star. I've cut out a star shape into my potato. Got my paint on my potato and I'm printing it on my paper. Get my moon potato and dip it in my silver paint. And I'm going to make some silver moons on my paper as well. So this is a really nice gross motor sensory activity for younger boys and girls. Why well, wasn't paint on my, my picture? There we go. And that's my star and moon potato printing picture. Here is my glittery moon and my glittery star and I now need to stick them together so I'm just going to get a little bit of ribbon you can use string whatever you've got at home and I'm just going to get a little bit of sellotape 
and I'm going to stick one end to my star like that and mummies and daddies you can help although boys and girls getting ready to go into reception you can have a go at cutting your own string and sellotape using those scissor skills that we've been working on can't you so mummies and daddies make sure your children are having a go at doing the cutting ready for reception and then oh, it's a bit long that isn't it we we'll have to cut it shorter there we go and then i stick the other end to my moon like that and i've got my moon and star decoration all ready for Eid celebration. So we've got lots and lots of these. We're going to put them in our window this afternoon. Everybody, I hope you have an amazing Eid celebration this weekend. And I know it'll be different to normal and you won't be able to celebrate in the way that you usually do with different families coming together. But I'm sure that you can FaceTime or message people. Children, one of the challenges this week was to try and make a special card. So wouldn't it be lovely to make e-cards and you can post them to some of your neighbours as well? so be safe this weekend don't be tempted to break those social distancing rules because we are still wanting to keep ourselves safe and we're hoping to see some children back in nursery school very soon so Eid Mubarak for this weekend have an amazing time I can't wait to see your pictures and photos of your celebrations and all the delicious food mm, that you've been eating okay bye everybody Eid Mubarak